Welcome to another episode of The Adventures of Danny and Mike, where the fellas discuss spelling bees, friend revenge, and belly dancing educators. All that and special guest Elsa Pulveris. Now play the music, Munaki. Hey, that's Jersey! What a gimmick that was in the Nine Inch Nails Closer video. It's like you're watching, scene deleted this, scene deleted this, scene deleted. It's like, okay, I know my imagination is doing most of the work in this music video because I know I'm seeing some fucked up images, right, with the heart and the tss, tss. How is that, like... You, you remember it says scene yes, deleted. Yes, but it took, like, that's not in the forefront of my brain, mostly. Well, yeah. he was just talking about Animaniacs, too, so... Right, well, yeah, yeah. so the 1993-94 is 90s really... Kids will know. 90s kids. Yeah. Maybe we do a goth reboot of, uh, or, you know, an industrial reboot of Animaniacs where they're all goths. Wow, and... that would be great. A closer video with the Animaniacs doing all the I fucked up stuff. I would watch that. Yeah, I would too. Yes. And Instead of coming out of the water tower, they're like coming out of a dungeon yeah, yeah. or some, you know, industrial. You know, they, yeah, door. they live yeah. They live in like the, yeah, uh, yeah the yeah. Warner yeah. Furnace. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, table that, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. that Pink on a, a spit. Might be a billion but dollar it's, idea. It's really just pinky in the brain. Oh, right. gosh. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's uh, officially gross. start the show now. Welcome to the Adventures of Danny and Mike. To my right, Mr. Danny Tamborelli. Yes, that's me. And you hit the table. I did hit the table. And to his right, Mr. Michael C. Morona. Gonna hit the table once for me. Thank you, Jeremy. And our guest for the entire hour, Miss Danielle Sepulveda. No. <laughs> God, I knew I was gonna screw that. Sepulveda. Sepulveda. See, now I'm you gonna hit the table. Sep- yes. You please. know why? Because when I go to LA, uh, I would always, to annoy him, say Sepulveda. Oh. Sepulveda. Daniel I don't think Sepulveda. he does it to uh, an, uh, annoy me. I think you just saw that he does it because he really doesn't know how to say the word. Well, it's all... Sepulveda. And, it's, and yours yeah. is it's yeah. a little off, but it's, you know, you should just be able to look at it and Sepulveda. just say it. <laughs> <laughs> My brother got my mom really good when we went apple picking. He said, you should try the, the corn mozzie. <laughs> no, he didn't. Wait. Oh, he, he told her to try the corn mozzie. <laughs> wow. Apples. That's really What about good. your mom joke? Were you just, <gasps> you're just driving down the highway and you say, hey, and you keep pointing and it's just because you're seeing hey. Oh, oh that is so cheesy. That's it's nice. a real bad one. Wow. And he's done it before. I'm not sure that's my joke, but... Maybe it is. Maybe that was a road trip thing that we uh, we experienced in the well, mid- in the Midwest. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, I was just in the Midwest. Oh, nice. I was in Indiana though, not we, Ohio. We've been there uh, quite a bit. We were in. Were the- you in uh, Whitestown or Brownsburg? Uh, <laughs> I was in Fishers. There's oh, okay. Michigan. That's in between the northern area, mm. and then there's. What is it? Kentuckiana? That's the southern area. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think I'm making that second one up. But Michiana is a region we yeah. drove through, which is nor- the northern yeah. part. Northern. Pennsylvania is real. Because I didn't realize how close they are to Chicago. So close. There, in fact. The first time I flew there, I connected in Chicago and they were like, your flight is zoop, like 18 zoop. minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, 18 minutes? Like, well, I guess I could have just driven yeah. there. I know. <laughs> Can't you bungee us over one at a time? You literally just go up and come back down. That was it. It's aspirational. Mm-hmm. So you see the same people on, also on the way up as the way down. So that's <laughs> the small. The small airlines really keep uh, you humble. That's why I fly Spirit. Oh Lord. Oh boy, you don't do that, do you? No. Oh okay. I did it once though, flying to Chicago. In fact, yeah. Spirit. Funny enough, that's like taking a. That's like a big risk. Funny enough, I had no problems with it. Not until, a single problem until. And the next day, there was like headlines about Spirit Airlines people like freaking out in like Fort Lauderdale, and like a big like incident happened at the airport. And I had just flown the airline, so I had to give them my email address. The next day, I got an email from them being like, "Don't bother. Hey, no, no, Everything's cool. No, hey, right now, round trip forty nine ninety nine to Fort Lauderdale and back." I was like, "No, I don't think so. And I think your marketing's very skewed." Is that when we came back from the comic book convention? You didn't fly Spirit to, to no, Fort no, no, Lauderdale. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, I flew to Chicago, but I paid. Spirit Airlines for that flight, and then they had my email address, and then they sent me an email saying, Miss "Come Florida, back and forth, come on down." After they've had an incident, that's why yeah. it's funny, Michael. Oh. Yeah, because it was cheaper. Obviously, less people wanted to go. They wanted to get you people in butts in the seats. Butts in the seats. It's important. We I were am. talking about butts in the seats before you got here. We were venues. No big deal. Union Hall. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 
I you said do, uh, that uh, Mike did my spelling bee and we sold out. We had 150 seats. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. 150 seats in Union Hall? Uh, no, we were at UCB oh, Hell's yeah. Kitchen. Yeah, yes. we took we took like five seats from Union Hall and, mm. and UCB <laughs> had 145. Well, so I was we going to say, we had like 130 seated. I was like, that's pretty good. Yeah. You had to, people were sitting on top of each other at Union Hall. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm glad I didn't promoted very hard because Elt sold all those tickets already. <laughs> I, I would honestly, have had some disappointed people. I was really uh, surprised. Like I knew we were going to do pretty good. Um, but when we first did it in LA, the, the theater there was like 70 seats, 75. And the first time we did it there, we did sell that out. So I, I was looking for 75 seats. I'm like, I know I can That's do a good optimism because I know even more people in New York. Uh, and then the day of, they were like, Oh, you, you know, you're pretty much sold out. Cause I think at that point they had 142 tickets sold and some people bought last minute. And some people didn't show up, but had bought tickets. So and we kept their like, money. I'm like, we sold out. So then I was like, Double so I, I can come back and do this anytime, right? <laughs> that's 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 the, that's, the, usually, that's the deal. That's usually what happens. Is, yeah. yeah, you sell all the tickets and whatever you guys want to do. It. What? Uh, t- tell us about the show, or can you talk about the? Uh... The yeah, sh- the show what, what it, the, uh, the event took place. Several. <laughs> no. I have no idea what it is. Spelling it's already bee. happened. The ad- event pl- took place several Fridays ago. Uh, I think Dan had an event that same Friday night. Unfortunately, I did because you invited me. I did. I wanted both of you to play. I would. I would have given you my uh, New Jersey public education. Good <laughs> yeah. old try. Yeah, I was going to say too, you, you got it too. <laughs> yeah. Are you from New Jersey? Yeah, we're yes. even. What? Oh, you yeah. guys didn't know about the, what? What exit? Bergen County. What? What, what exit? Yes. Keep going. Guess uh, what? We're there. I, Guess who's from Bergen County? Ha- we're nailed. Bergen County. I don't like have an exit off the that's Garden okay. State no, no. <laughs> You do. You say it's one sixty two or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something which like is that. Really that's like, the, but that's you're still twenty. Yeah, it's a place. Off. It's a placeholder. Because then you gotta. I'm I'm a an exit off of the Palisades Parkway. So I'm different. Okay. I'm I'm close to Alpine where all the rich people yeah. are. Except mm-hmm. my sister went to uh, what's the all uh, girls school there? Oh, um, Holy Angels. Holy Angels. Yes. Yeah, my Great name went for there. Yep. Uh, and yeah. what was the name of their sports teams? And my and my sister still has never been the same since. The Holy Moly's. She's 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 only been an angel those four <laughs> years that she was in high school there. <laughs> the rest of the time, I tell you, Cl- they- Closter. That's Closter. a that's a weird town. Yes, mm. that is a weird town. They completely just redid part of it. Okay. And the whole they, thing, they like, they had a, a really shitty strip mall, like for the entirety of my childhood, mm-hmm. it was like a Kmart, a dollar store, like a half empty something or other. No, uh, well, could have uh, been half full. A, <laughs> a movie theater. Sure. And, uh, after many, many years of the town fighting things, there's a whole foods, there's a home goods, there's a bear burger, there's a Chipotle. The future. Ooh. This stuff sells. <laughs> it's like, Oh, Hey, <laughs> we're surrounded by a lot of very well to do people who live here. Let's give yeah. them a place to shop. So yeah. they don't keep driving to Paramus. <laughs> You yeah. want to clip clip that mall traffic before clip they the mall traffic. Mm. Tell Paramus it's big enough; it doesn't need anything else. I uh, was working on this uh, commercial that everybody has heard about <laughs> since Google just released it the other day online. Oh boy, I knew that was yours. With uh, I could tell that that was a New Jersey mansion, McMansion, with uh, Macaulay Culkin in it, uh, reprising some of his uh, best bits from Home Alone. <laughs> we shot it in, I want to say. Why can't I remember Bloomfield? Sure. And uh, both, it, we shot a Thursday, Friday, and a Saturday. Mm-hmm. And every single time, Wazi, my satellite navigation app oh, slash rapper, Wazi, uh, sent me over the goddamn George Washington Bridge every time. <laughs> every time. He sent me over the goddamn George Washington Bridge. So I made that unnecessary trip north and saw these nice communities three times well sometimes it takes you that way because it's it's the path of least resistance michael there's only so many tubes you can go into in the lincoln tunnel so many you've got, tubes you've got two levels how many George tubes Washington are there Bridge. yeah how many tubes are, are there, there four Dan? i'd say four four is a good ballpark aren't there four tubes i think there are three tubes three and 
to There's, one of them goes both ways, one of them goes both ways the other way, and the other one is one and one. That's the one you don't want to be in. I don't want to yeah. be in I hate that one. being right. in the yeah, one Yeah, it makes you nervous. One. Oh, it makes you nervous. Yeah. Not, not, not cool. I do a thing where I always uh, uh, plan. Close your eyes when you drive through? Oh, no, no, no. Too. No, but I, but, I, but I will. It usually works, except for the one lane one. I keep my eye out, especially when I'm in sort of the middle, you know, keep my eye out for the exits, because I've always thought, well, you know, if shit goes down. How do I get out of here? I'm going to I'm gonna float to the top well, somehow. Well, you saw so, that Sylvester Stallone movie, Daylight, yeah. right? Daylight. I didn't, yeah. wouldn't see it because <laughs> over the top. I've it's been all driving in and out of New York City my whole life. That is like that's the yeah. last thing I want to watch ever. It's terrifying. On my no, on my way to this commercial, I took the Queens Midtown Tunnel to the Lincoln Tunnel like a normal person, mm. and I noticed that regional, regional, regional. I've noticed that Cuomo, the governor, put these enormous like bank vault doors on the Queens Midtown Tunnel. He's got them on all of them. I swear to God, they're, if they're you also, go through, they're also in the Holland, battery. Too. I had not the seen Holland them. Has them too. I had not seen this before, but after apparently all our all our flooding and, uh, yeah, and yeah. damage, there's something else that's going to get wrecked by the water when it when it does get flooded again. But right. we have uh, these enormous like bank fault looking doors right before you go into the tunnel. They're Jeremy, pretty cool, for me, actually. it's like <laughs> keep an eye out for those. That's and, where I would float it. They yeah. would shut them, and I'd just be in there floating. There's around. There's your exit. And, I'm like, saying that's trying where you to know, get water out of the top of the tube. <gasps> Where's Guys, it's buried underneath the river. What is? The tube? The tube. The tube's never submerged, ever. What? It's not submerged. I'll be damned. It's underneath. At some point, it has it's to underneath be submerged. the bed. No, it's not. It's not wet? Uh, it's a not, dry there's, tube. There's a, there's a bunch of dirt above you, but it's mostly wet. I didn't know that. See, it's I didn't, true. I always think of a, a water death when I go it's true. Never, yeah, a I never, never a land death. <laughs> Let's revise yeah. your nightmare scenario. Yeah. Never a big deal. That's kind of how they really smart. I fly too. Yeah, yeah. Land yeah. death or yeah. water yeah. death? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you want to choke on Take mud? You want to choke on mud to death? You want to choke on water? See, uh, I mean, both sound. Horrible. What do you want them to find in your lungs, basically? Yeah. Oh gosh, this has gotten really morbid. It's okay. It had. Well, it'll turn up. I'm sure. Jersey people, this is amazing. Uh, we have had some Jersey people before, but not as nearly as illustrious as. Well, in Bergen County, no less, because that's mm. I'm from Wyckoff, New Jersey. I know Wyckoff. Yeah. He one named of, it. One of my uh, good friends uh, moved back there, got married, and lives there now nice. with, with the two kids and, yeah. and the fixer up house and mm -hmm. you know living the dream, mm -hmm. living that that dream life. I noticed that your your road was kind of like curvy. In front of your house. My road? Yeah. Am I thinking somebody else's house? No, I had a pretty straight shot. My road is very, it's a cul-de-sac road. So that's that's what I'm thinking a one of. Way, a one-way scenario. You can get out two ways, but one if you drive way. all the way down, you're going to be making a circle. Is it like the Holland Tun the Lincoln Tunnel there at the, uh, the two lanes? Man, this is so regional. We just lost <laughs> Arkansas. Arkansas is totally not paying attention to anything that we're saying right now. We, uh... We could make it even more uh, niche of, uh, of an engagement if we talk about the film business that <laughs> Jeremy, That's true. Jeremy, you, Al, and myself have all worked on. Yeah, Danny's never been in the film industry, which I think yeah. one of these days you'll get there, buddy. Yeah. I said, I said I Jeremy, you. you. L and myself have oh, all I thought you on. excluded him, which I thought was what well, Jeremy. Thought, well, was <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> oh, I mean, it happens. You heard the silent parentheses. <laughs> I have been developing this. This is crazy because you know how there's some things that like work very well in the written word that don't work spoken. Mm. Yeah, I have been. I went to Myanmar and have been working on the writ the hidden. Written parentheses for about four months. Wow, you! I meditated. I've I didn't seen talk you a bunch. I, it's crazy that you go all the way to Myanmar and back. Astral, I don't know anything about it. Astral projection, dude. I'm completely uh, quiet the whole time. Chilling I'm Adventures there. of Sabrina. You're watching it too, I guess. Uh, I didn't watch any of those, but I feel it's good that we have to. <laughs> I feel anyway. Well, am I just gonna pull up my glasses? Nerd glasses. Nerd alert. What's your uh, fandom? Al, I remember when I saw you. Was it the End of last year, you were up on Dietland, right? Yes. You were very big on Dietland. At that time, it was just being released. Yes. I, I worked on Dietland. Uh, I worked one day on Dietland, I think. Yeah. Because yeah, I saw you doing, I was doing uh, base camp or something like okay. that up in the Bronx. 
Yes, that sounds about right. Uh, so, yeah, it was mostly as usual behind the scenes, but they did give me a part on it as a porn star. Uh, so, yeah. And you were ready Choice. to work on the deuce and, after that. Well, it was just really funny because I thought I was getting fired because um, I left work and I got, <laughs> <laughs> I got this call and it was just a very serious like, uh, so they just had a production meeting and um, th- we need to talk to you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh the- my God. What did I do? Am that I getting fired? Stuff. Instagram yeah. was it? The, it was, yeah. If it's know? too serious for a text, then I get yeah. a phone call. And I'm thinking, oh my god! And honestly, I thought uh, it was because the DP didn't think I was a good enough match for who I was standing in for. So oh. I thought it was going to be just like, a look, nice this isn't working. Yeah, this isn't yeah, working like out. A, we're right. so sorry. Sure. We really like you, but we just, we just want know. somebody with a crew cut. Yeah, like something <laughs> like that. You know. Like a true redhead, something. And, uh, I and hear it all the time. They said, so in the next episode, uh, there's this part. Uh, do you know who Stella Cross is? Because the show is based on a book. And, and I was like, oh, yeah, I read the book. I know who Stella Cross is. And they were like, so they were talking about having you play Stella Cross. And and uh, she's a very polarizing character in the book because of what happens to her, which I won't give away. But Spoilers. Um, but I and also it, you know, there's a, there's a lot of very sexual stuff about her in the book. So I was like, oh, shit. Like, oh my, like And this wasn't for network and, either. And also I'm thinking, wow, like what vibe am I giving off yeah. at work? <laughs> that, that they just like had a meeting and we're like, hey, you know what? Let's ask her to do just it. Pushing around a bunch of Polaroids on a table. <laughs> so, you know, because I'm I mean, Mike has worked with me. I'm pretty quiet at work. So I, I just think she gives really it really funny. Sure. Um you but know, they considered you. Go ahead. Yeah. And I mean, and not to say porn stars can't be quiet. Of course, they can be quiet. You know, they they don't have to be very extroverted human beings. Um, it's 2018. For but, uh, but I was thinking, oh, man, like, you know, what what video of mine got loose on the Internet? <laughs> yeah, I'm like really concerned about this. Um, and and also, I just I just was like, wow, I don't know that I have the right look for this. But uh, they they put me in this blonde wig okay. and, and they gave me a fake tan. And, and the makeup. I'll show you a photo afterwards because I really transformed into a different person because I sent a photo to my mom after we did the makeup. She, and, and she hair. said, she said, who is that? <laughs> Classic Franny. It took her a minute and she goes, oh my God. Oh my God, it is you. And uh, yeah, so it was, that was actually what was fun about it too, because I really did feel like a completely different person, mm-hmm. you know, which, uh, you know, you guys know your actors. It's, oh. it's, it's, a you know so there yeah there was a part of that character that was that felt yeah. like Mike never wanted to say Kevin you're such a disease <laughs> I had to be convinced yeah. uh, it's such a great line thank you I appreciate it uh, you know had to do it and then do it again in the flashback <laughs> version in the flashback. like the flashback version I'm like I was like this far from the camera <laughs> I'm like I almost could have like grabbed the mat box and shook it type of thing and I'm just like did they like play the first version for you? As no, there no, was no, no matching. No, whatsoever? no, no. Chris Columbus was just like, be mean. Be uh, mean. <laughs> I think. I think it was something, something like that. Yeah. Oh, when we actually, we never even uh, explained the spelling bee, but so when we did the spelling bee, I actually uh, introduced him in a way so that a joke made sense. There was a. Because I had thought it was going to come out in the intros in a funny way and then it didn't. So I literally grabbed it. Oh, because I didn't introduce myself properly. Well, but, uh, but also we were just a little bit. Uh, like loose and all over the place with sure. the intros, which was super fun. But then as we started, I go, oh my God, people aren't going to get this joke. And like, this joke is really funny if people know who Mike is. <laughs> I need so, to <laughs> connect the dots. I, I just like- Attention! Ran. Yes, Attention. that's literally what I did. I grabbed the yes. microphone. I'm like, I just want to say a couple things about some of the people playing. <laughs> and then My ears got red. Yeah, I was like, I'm sorry to embarrass you right now. But I'm like, so that's Mike Rona and he was in Home Alone. <laughs> It, I'm like, that's it. That's the whole thing. He was in Home oh, Alone. That, no, that night was like the 28th anniversary of Home Alone coming right. out. That was yes. what it was. And so I, as soon as you pointed me out, I mentioned that because I was like spring loaded on my tongue yeah. to have that. It was uh, perfect. And I was like, who feels old now? You you collected quite a, a collection of characters that night. Uh, I'm trying to remember the guy all in Rutgers gear. Oh, uh, Dominic. Dominic was... Yes. Dominic was sharp he was on it uh you know him from jersey obviously because he he was covered in rutgers gear i mean i'm on would think that a person covered in rutgers gear would be from i'm on the stage with l uh maris christman josh gondelman akila hughes uh two sisters 
who are child actors. Oh. Broadway um, girls, yeah. Okay. Broadway girls. Um, Sam is the host. And a bunch of people that you rec- that you properly recruited whose names I can't remember right now. Uh, Sunita Dishpande. Sunita Dishpande, who was in Daredevil. Daredevil mm-hmm. uh, who mm-hmm. is, uh, and from Florida. Great person. Mm-hmm. Very and, funny. And then there was other... Uh, Bethany Kay, who she's our on, eventual winner, Bethany yes, Kay, who was on Dialand. Oh. She had sort of um, a bit part. She's she's you know done a lot of work and she's an opera singer, but she had this very small part in the first episode of Dialand that uh, kind of just blew her up because it was a very memorable scene. You know how that happens. Like somebody does a cameo in an episode. People are like, who is that person? Because that was awesome. Like that was her. That was how we created David Johansson. Actually, (laughs) Uh, he was he had a he had a cameo in Pete and Pete. And then after that, decided to start a band. A little band. I think that's a a, is it backwards? backwards. I got it backwards. All right. But he did do Scrooged. Yeah. I think you should take credit. I no charge. <laughs> we shot all over uh, New Jersey, but that one I think we shot in Staten Island at the Boy Scout camp. Oh, interesting. My God. That is true. And you were just there, and you sent me a picture in the <laughs> overlooking the beautiful pond that we shot at. <laughs> Did you guys have to do any kind of a chemistry test together when you auditioned? Yeah, we had to make out. Yeah, mm. it was seven and eleven year olds making out. It's mm. not fun, but Nickelodeon <laughs> required it. Yeah, Nickelodeon it required. I heard that's like in their bylaws. <laughs> it never, is. It is. They never. You guys want to be brothers, huh? Yeah. Kiss. <laughs> they never aired the tape for some reason. It was that brother. kind of a show. It was. Yeah, we're that kind of. Well, we're not going to go that far, but we just want to make sure that you kids can go that far. Not even. Uh, at the, That's terrible. Not even at the. Tr- <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> not even Jerry the, Layborn would never let yeah, that fly. At the trust building exercises at the holiday Nickelodeon retreats, where we ever encouraged to kiss. Uh, <laughs> is that is only that for the grand opening of the Viacom store in Chicago? That's what it was. Yeah, they they They're flew like, us oh, out. Yeah. Kiss Just now. Kiss. Yeah. This this podcast is going to make Nickelodeon have to issue a statement. A statement being like, saying, we, yeah. never... we never <laughs> asked them to kiss. It was Elle loves the concept of of me generating corporate responsibility yes. because of the they... Verizon tweets. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, the Verizon the tweets Verizon are so good. Tweets are amazing. They're so good. It people... makes me so happy to watch all those people. I know it's died down now, but it. it you know, recirculates every once. You tried to bring it back up saying you worked for another company recently. (laughs) Yes, I did. Didn't work. (laughs) You you were saying didn't work. But no, it was so great seeing all these people just get so angry. Steamed, man. It's like a steam generator. And it was just, if you even stopped and thought about this for a second, you would know that this is all bullshit, but you're not smart enough to figure it out. It's It's like we could, we could power, we could solve the energy crisis with outrage Mm -hmm. if, if properly applied. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Think about Monsters, Inc. sort of way. Just boiling a turbine above people's heads mm-hmm. and steam and it drives a wheel. And a... <laughs> However hard you hit the, you know, you hit your the iPhone key, while, you're, while you're. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Haptic, haptic response. <laughs> All right. Well, you've been. That's like five kilowatts there. Look at his fingers go. <laughs> we could save, you know, the planet. It, easily yeah. we could reduce emissions. Wow. I think so. My what? What's wrong, Jeremy? <laughs> Nothing. I don't know. He said emissions uh, and then pointed to me. For, for I wasn't, he's well, a he's a, a, a vegetarian. Joke. It's L. a fart joke. Okay, he's a vegetarian. L. But I know uh, that you enjoy eating, and so do I. <laughs> just from your on. This is just from the online curating of. Occasionally, L will say, you know, I don't know why I'm awake, but occasionally L will say at midnight, like I need a cookie right now. <laughs> and I seriously. I don't know if I had this notion that I would share it with everybody online. So kudos to you. Thank I'm not you. a kudos. I'm not a kudos giver. So I, I am. It. I am in awe of your ability to be online and honest about yourself at times. Well, you know what I've noticed about Twitter that's funny is so I'm over ten thousand followers now, and we get um, two in the room. Oh well, look at us. <laughs> yeah. Over the, the couple, ten, couple the check ten, marks, the couple ten, check marks cool. up in up the in the K house. Club. Yeah, um, but I was under for so long, and I'm still like, I mean, even just a little bit over ten, I still feel like a person who's very much under the radar because uh, God knows how many of those are bots or whatever. I didn't pay for them though, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> the bots are on strike, I guess. 
And, but I, the funny thing is when you get, for me anyway, maybe it's different for a dude, but when you get to a certain amount of followers, something like that, that you would just tweet and maybe, you know, five a people cookie, would right. be like, oh, I want a cookie too or whatever. Yeah. All of a sudden, after 10,000 followers, you say something like that and you are the most annoying person in the world. <laughs> you are. <laughs> just- and, and I recognize this and I think it's really funny because I don't care. I'm still going to keep saying Oh, yeah, you're not, sel- you're not but, censoring yourself no, about it. No, but I'll, you know, he's right. I'll say something like, oh, I can't sleep. I'm totally going to have a cookie. Yeah, I'm jealous of her ability to and, have a cookie at that time. And, well, also, I, I figure you live in Manhattan or something yeah, where you can but, just order cookies right. willy nilly. Or, you know, you think about it on your way home from work and you're like, I know I'm going to want this mm-hmm. later and I'm going to get one. Go ahead sure. your business now. Sure, that's but, smart. It's just, it's really funny because now people are like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> you can't oh, have really? like, oh, Yeah, people no, are rude okay. about it. All right. Or, or they'll just write, nobody cares. And, and I'm like, well, you follow me. I Why know. do you, you obviously care. And I'm like, when I had 8,000 followers, people cared. Yeah. <laughs> what, like, oh, what's diff- what's different? Like, you suck. Uh, <laughs> I so, don't know. So, don't yeah, know. so you're, uh, you're cognizant of that yes. in the way that you interact. You know, online. or I guess because it was just a smaller group of people interacting. And a lot of them are people that I do actually know in New York. And I was well, say, Facebook yeah. says you can only know five thousand people tops. I, w- I was going to say That's I, all you can I feel do. like you can get away with some of that stuff because there's like it, it is midnight in New York and you want a cookie, but there's a lady in L.A. and it's nine o'clock and she's like, I get it. Yeah, you know what I mean. I understand this woman wants a cookie right now. I mean, that's all I'm asking. You just need one person to say. Oh, me too. And then you've done well. It's a you movement. Tweeted, it's a you've, movement after you've that. You've sufficiently helped somebody or like had somebody like, yeah, I know what she's doing. I know all about it. And it's the validation. That's like the, yeah, that's that <laughs> one little bit of validation that you get that you can move on with your tweet. So uh, until you tweet the next thing that someone's like, fuck you. <laughs> you're an asshole. I know. I have- you're have- your band has a show on Saturday. I know, dude. Yeah, that's that was- what I get. It's like- <laughs> That's what you get? Yeah, I'll get like- We've yeah. already heard. Sorry, I'm in Arkansas. Can't go, but thanks for telling me about no, it. You just- like, Guys, we- come on. Dude, we lost Arkansas already when we were talking about the tunnel. I was trying so. to bring him back. That's why he was nice saying- I was trying to bring him back. they're not listening anymore. That's right. Yeah, I can just jab at him the entire time. You're filling all of your toxicity right into Gosh. Arkansas. Ozarks. <laughs> Sorry, Arkansas. Who cares. It. I drove right through. I don't. Where did I stay? Probably Little Rock. How was it? That's where Bill Clinton is from. Isn't the it? the roads are terrible. As soon as you cross from Oklahoma into Arkansas. Mm. I guess the roads are also bad when you cross from Texas into Oklahoma, though. So it's, <laughs> how could I tell? Texarkana. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the Michiana region. The Michiana region. Oh, you grew up in a metropolitan area with many municipalities against each other, like the Sopranos. You got, but a, you got pub, public transit that can take you right into the the, the heart greatest of, city in the world. Mm-hmm. Did you grow up wanting to live in your whole life? Yeah. Yeah, me too. You did. I did. It's funny, though, because there was a period of time where I didn't like New York, but that was because uh, my job was in Jersey. I was living in Hackensack. And so you resented when, it. No, when I came into New York, it was a process. You know, it was such an it was a, a rigmarole. Yeah, it was such a to do to like get in and out. And so but, you know, because also for some reason I was stupid and I drove and you know I can say you just get that Anderson I mean, Avenue take the train NJ or, Transit yeah, you're right there or, or you jump regional. on a, a million different buses we, were, we got like, regional again we damn got it regional sorry <laughs> sorry um, but we used to drive or like someone would drive and it was just between the traffic and trying to find a parking spot or like paying to park and it just being a whole thing I just remember I would always drive back across the George Washington Bridge and be like oh thank god just like breathe a sigh of relief to be <laughs> wow. out of there but once you're in the city and you're 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 not dealing with it from this outsider capacity and the beat drops it's and the beat drops uh it's it's a much different feeling and then all of a sudden i think it hits you like wow i really love this place like this place rocks and it's so good and and yes of course like any place it can drive you crazy but anywhere you live is going to drive you crazy at certain points because yes. it's where you live sure um, you know, and yes, the, the trains are terrible. <laughs> oh man. Everybody's learning that every day. Yeah, But in general, they, you know, people dream of living here, you know, it's, it's, it's true. pretty great. So it's we true. are, did, some of us are living the dream right now. Oh. Uh, Jeremy's <laughs> living, that's the, what you call it. Jeremy's living the dream <laughs> in, in another way right now. Yes. I'm really uh, proud of him. Yeah. We, 
we all get to um, carve out our, our little niches from... I was going to make some sort of comparison to the acorn woodpecker, but it's I not. I thought you were going to start rhyming niche. I was waiting for quiche to come out. Really? Like, like, oh, like how many how many rhymes are you going to get from after that? I don't know. Niche, quiche. Yeah, you and you've rhymed I yourself into a corner. Have, yeah, like a final round of the spelling bee where we just start rhyming the words instead of spelling. I would have had fun. Wow. I would have yeah. had fun. Uh, I feel like you gave me some tough words because you knew I was smart. Oh, yeah. Can we? Did. How, how did this guy fare? How did, did you do? He did really well. Uh, did I get any words wrong? I don't think you did. I just didn't spell them as fast as some yes, other people. He, he had fun we went to a lightning. We went. The, let's went to a lightning round. But that was the he. That was the point, and uh, that's actually back he was to there for the humor. I still haven't explained what it is, and you asked me like twenty. That's all right. Ago. I just want the listeners to know and come check it out next time it's in their yes, city. You know um, I mean? Actually, February fifteenth is the next Ooh, one. There you go. So it's going to be a very yeah. special in which city day in New York. Nice. Mm. Uh, very special day after Valentine's Day Ooh, themed nice. special mm. back at UCB or uh, back at UCB. Can you spell? Heartbreak. H e a r t b r e a k. That's right. It's s e p u l v e r e s. How about aluminum? Oh, that's, that's the sweet. tough one. Aluminium. Aluminium. My, Mike, I, I had this. Break it up. Yeah. We had this physics teacher in high school that was English, and he said aluminium. And then <laughs> after he said a lot of other things. You know, he was he was he was particular. After we get out of high school. My friend implies to me that he was Lewis Carroll's boyfriend when he was younger. What? That's a guess because he was English. I don't know who did the research. What? Wow. Hmm. That's all I know about my. I don't know much about my physics teacher. My Seems like English you really just teacher wanted to believe that quickly. Got yeah, in that's trouble. True. For, I was willing. Uh, being a part-time belly dancer. Ooh. Yeah. And in the city or in Jersey? In Jersey, she did private parties. And oh. a parent ended up at one of these <gasps> parties and went to the school. And also, you know what? Fuck you. Like, teachers don't get paid a lot. Let her yeah. do her yeah. side hustle and yeah. make some money. Did and she come straight from that to parent-teacher conferences and not change? <laughs> I don't think so. But they said that Billy's having trouble concentrating. When, I, know you're saying it was a, I know you're saying it was a parent, but we yeah. know it was a dad. Oh, totally was a dad. We know it was a dad. We know it was a dad. Uh. Oh, you know what? And Although, how could the dad not actually, keep his damn mouth you know shut? Uh, now that I think about it, I don't know party. that I ever knew for sure who said it, but it could have been maybe a dad saw her and told his wife uh, or her wife. Uh, right? Doesn't that sound like yeah. how it would go? Mm. Classic dad. Like, Classic what, pillow talk screws everything right, up. What dad would like go? I mean, like, I mean, a dad would, but it's like that classic, you know, dad. Pr Princess Cashmere episode of The Simpsons where Bart has the spy camera. He gets a picture of his Homer dancing with the stripper on oh the table God, the blackmail yeah the blackmail yeah, picture yeah yeah uh, it's uh i remember the blackmail picture yeah i mean we have different ways i guess that we express group morality and this is <laughs> this was one example of that uh, honey 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 this is not my gold bell okay it wasn't mine it fell off the belly dancer that was oh the belly dancer oh the belly dancer, <laughs> oh, the belly dancer. Oh, you know she teaches <laughs> english yeah. up at the high no, no, school no no she's got yeah, she, she's a, oh, she's oh, a, so damn poor, Actually, poor teacher do you want to know the kicker yes is that they made her stop doing that Okay, because that was not appropriate. However, oh, no. uh, she and I, and I love her. Unbeknownst, like, she she wrote me the greatest college recommendation. So I I say this with all the love in my heart because I think she's awesome. Um, she was married, and our vice principal was married, and then they started having an affair with each other. They both divorced their spouses and remarried uh, and each other. Each other, and I guess because he was the vice principal, they couldn't be like you know we're whatever but you know but you don't they let kept her be it a, a belly secret? dancer even though that's not even happening in the school oh they, everybody knew they about kept it a secret well because oh, her name her, she had a different that. last name and then all of a sudden she came back the next year and had his same last same name. last <laughs> name now yeah <laughs> so, gotcha. like what's worse like diddling a student or like dating a student or like being a belly dancer after hours like you can date, what's yeah. the harm? You can date definitely you, people diddling students yeah you yeah. can date and you can diddle and those are two different things sir no, I'm saying either one is worse, yeah. in my opinion, than I belly dancing. I had a classic gym teacher in oh, my had, high yeah. school. That was I feel like everybody has kids. one classic teacher, I thought you said it was teacher, a belly right? Gross. I don't yeah. want to even think about that. Yeah. Sorry. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think our, Saying our, when you saw my gym teachers, you would understand. Our gym teachers were okay. I don't think it was our gym. I mean, also, who knows? But uh, who knows? as far as I knew, our gym teachers were 
were pretty cool. Uh, I think it was a math teacher at my school. God. Yeah. Yeah. Always the worst. Because they were calculating everything. <laughs> they were just eat, weighing his options. The only other worst uh, teacher would be the statistics teacher. Oh. So he's just, Statistically, I could do this 72 times before someone's going to catch me. Wow. <laughs> wow. In the teacher's lounge. <laughs> this is... Uh, oh, no. I, I feel terrible. Like, I feel like you are a terrible person to make as an enemy because... Because of Me? your yeah, because of your writing and online oh, presence. Thank you. Uh, but just uh, again from some tweets that you made about uh, things people have done to me. No, this is <laughs> but this is a very specific. This is a very oh sure revenge for sure. Yeah. But there I'll are tell very, everybody everything. There's a very specific uh, vein that L tweets in, which is if you're my fr- if uh, true friends will know other people who have done me wrong and be rude to them as well on my behalf. It's true. And I don't even ask for that. It just happens. Um, the, actually, I think one of my favorite stories of it, this girl who I hadn't seen in years texted me. Uh, she was in Denver, Colorado and ran into a guy at a party and he was like talking about something and, and something jogged her memory. And she's like, wait, what's your name? And he was a guy who had like borrowed money from me and my roommate a million years ago, never paid us back and had had been like a total uh, freeloader and also and so she starts bringing up all the stuff that he did at what this about, party in yeah. front of people and he was getting so embarrassed and, and she was just doing it very like uh, just, Playfully. Casu- just casually like wait didn't you do this that's and then a he good went friend to a wedding uh-huh. with like uh, this other uh, he didn't go he went to a wedding with Ouch. my roommate and behaved like a complete awful person and uh like just did really embarrassing, humiliating things, and thought he was being funny. You know, uh, like he was that, like old that, hat. that guy, yeah. <laughs> and and so she's bringing up all the stuff, and everyone's going, "Oh God, you did that!" And he's like, "No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think I, I, I would have done something <laughs> like that." Doesn't sound like something I'd do. And she texted me, and I'm only mad at him because he he used to just borrow money all the time until I finally had to, you know, not stop. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just like, actually, this this feels like great karma right now because yeah, I never got my around. money back, but at right. least. He got humiliated at a party. Oh. Yeah, and you can't so, put a price on that. You cannot put a price on that. Oh, I had a uh, guy short me when I I quit the film industry for a little while and thought I wanted to be a chef oh. back during the uh, the chef craze yeah. of the two thousand. Was I was going to say two thousand yeah. two thousand four? Hey, millennials are baking bread now. That's oh, what the were. New York Times says. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. This is why bakeries <laughs> are going out of business. Um, but this guy, he, he was a really shady guy and he, he ran a veg, uh, restaurant and I would, you could say vegetarian. Restaurant. I don't think it was vegetarian. Maybe it was, it was called <laughs> world something. It's, so it definitely was even vegetarian. shadier. <laughs> uh, and I would cook like breakfast, uh, and lunch, I think. And, and he shorted me a month's pay. Oh my God. And uh, one day we were, I was upstate doing something on another job. I, I went back to the film industry and, uh, was in a, a market of such prop shopping and uh, this motherfucker walks out the door and, and he starts to do the thing where it's like, oh, hey, I what's you. going on with you? And something's flipped in me. It was like, where's my money, motherfucker? Oh I was like, God. he's like, oh, that was all supposed to be taken care of. The, the, you guys took me to the thing. And, uh, no, and immediately knowing yeah. what happened is yeah. immediate yeah. like yeah. Oh, guilt yeah. just yeah. pouring exactly. out of you. being. Totally. So you overturned a table in the market, That's right? right? Uh, you were like, Tuscan market going down. But my buddy Matt was there because he was uh, assisting on the job and he was like, I've never seen you like that, man. I don't, he, that guy's twice as big as you. What awesome. Are you doing? <laughs> awesome. You wanted I was your so money. pissed. I was you like, your money. he was reported to like the better business bureaus and all that stuff. And he never paid up. He, he, he basically the whole entire crew for that month got nothing. And there's like oh six people. In the, in the Aggravating. Roster. It's, you know what? And, and s- I've always waited for uh, those kind of moments sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like, not even uh, consciously, but all of a sudden when it, you can rectify a situation. Uh-huh. There's uh, just, I, I'm going to be honest here. So I've been waiting. Maybe I'll use this podcast as my moment. <laughs> um, but so years ago, not that many years ago, um, <laughs> but I was humiliated on a segment of a late night talk show. Uh, and uh, 
I, I, when it happens, I, I didn't even have like publishing credits to my name. And Mike knows I write for, I've written, I can't even speak right now. I, I'm a great writer. She's and written I can't for the Ro- Washington <laughs> Post. You've yeah. seen yeah. her a few uh-huh. times. I've written for The Atlantic and Cosmopolitan and Self Magazine and lots of other great places. Uh, but I was like unknown and they didn't say my name, but anyone who knew me knew that they were talking about me on the show. And it was so embarrassing. Like my phone blew up for two days because it was just friends and family being like, yo, because they, they saw you because because they saw it wasn't me. They just talked about me uh, in like a really, really humiliating way. Like because the, of something you'd written the, the no, I hadn't written anything at that. So the scenario is this. Um, I had dated a writer on the show <sighs> And then a year later, I mean, and he completely, you know, dumped me. I, he had like no, I, I didn't break his heart. I didn't, he had no ill will towards me whatsoever. Like, you know, and I didn't even have it towards him, which I should have. And in I, hindsight, in hindsight. Hmm. And then um, a, like a year later, I was seeing somebody else who was occasionally a guest on this show. And so the writer decided to do this whole slideshow, basically saying he had slept with me first uh, to kind of like Im- it was supposed to be in his bit. words, it, be a bit and like embarrass the guy I was currently dating. But instead, it was really just Yikes. horrible yeah. towards me. Yeah. And there's a lot of there were a lot of women in that writer's room. And I'm like, who approved yeah. this? Like, who said this was OK? Yeah, why don't you back me up? And, yeah. And, and so and they sprung it on the guy that I was dating because usually he gets the rundown of like what the show's going to be. Not this and time. So they did it, you know, because they they caught, he looked like a deer in headlights right. when it when it aired because he called me the day up and he's like, oh, my God, this just happened. And I was like, what? <laughs> like I lost my shit. And I kept being told like, oh, it's just funny. Like, you'll find it funny. So I couldn't watch it for like three or four weeks until it aired. And I was dying because I'm like, oh, my God, like, like you have time to ferment you know? in that yeah. and percolate in that yeah. time and, and get total it. nightmare. And it was just as bad Ooh. as I thought it would be. Ooh. I mean, the only thing that would have made it worse is if they had said my name, which they, you know, wouldn't be allowed to do or, right. you know, but I also heard from someone who worked there that they had tried, they had wanted to say where I worked. Like, so that someone, to name, to, so that to name someone you could actually somewhere. like so do a four chan. Yeah. yeah and I was like, up. that's really fucked up. Um, <clears throat> And so, yeah, so like to this day, I'm always like, you know what? I, I, those people deserve so so much fucking revenge for that because, you know, I, I see, especially like one of the writers on that show, she's always on Twitter, like being like ultra feminist and, and women and don't back me up, babe. And I'm like, yeah, thanks for slut shaming me four years ago. Like you were completely in favor of that because nobody vetoed that. Like clearly nobody vetoed it. So yeah. So now I'm talking about it here. You get you getting it off your chest. I'm speaking my truth. On Do the it, podcast. no, please. That's As what this should. is for. That's what this is for. I We've all spoken truths here before. Yeah. I definitely have come clean on a, a few things here on the pod, and uh, Jeremy and I have come clean on some things. Yeah, this is this is the um, we used to have tension, and it's less oh. tense now. We hate each other. Really? No, we love each other. I wouldn't put it that way. Did, did Danny mediate it? <laughs> Danny was yes. always the middle man. He was always in the middle. He was always the stepmom. Let me talk really. to you. Let me talk to you. Let me always, talk to you. No, let me talk to both of you. He was really a stepmom. <laughs> he was good. That's a very Jersey way of handling things. Yeah. Mm. You know, it just did. Th- throw in some Taylor ham and <laughs> toss a tower. You take this? Yeah. Some toss people call it pork roll. I know. But but that's, that's, not, not, that's not our country. We've learned. No, that's not yeah. our country. Yeah. 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 You got to change your money if you want to go there. Speaking of Jersey, someone was talking the other day uh, about how in movies and TV shows, people do Southern accents really badly, like just very over the top. And I'm like, while we're on this subject, people do New Jersey accents terribly yeah. in TV shows and movies. They they sound they, like Staten they, Island. They blow it out of proportion. Yeah, they blow it out of proportion. It, they talk like how they just assume people from New Jersey talk. And listen to us. Do We I don't know. sound like that. No, I know. But we haven't talked about coffee you guys have to you guys have to raise you know, awareness coffee coffee dog coffee. talk i coffee. did I, d- I mean the, the i think the more that you like you're like oh let me tell you how i say this word you're gonna like really push hard on it just yeah so you're gonna overthink it in, in yeah, some way it's, yeah it's, and also there's different parts of jersey because you hear it in different there's southern jersey yeah the parts where they say the parts where they say almost like wooter. Silly or they say wooter they Delaware. don't say water they say wooter Oh, it's a hoagie. <laughs> it's a hoagie. <laughs> Call it a hoagie. We know where you're from. Yep. 
when I, I went to college down in Delaware. And so it was a mix of Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Mostly. So my, my, my cousin went to the University of Scranton. Okay. And, I thought you were going to uh, say Delaware. No. Like, <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, go game hens or whatever. Blue hens. Yeah, blue hens. Nice try. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she was at a bar in Scranton and, and some guy's like, you have perfect teeth. <laughs> I'm not with my cousin at the bar. This is just an anecdote related. <laughs> and then when you just said you went to school in Delaware, I'm like, wow, what did they say to you when you went out in Delaware? They're like, you from Jersey? Wait, what, was I supposed to go out in Delaware? No. <laughs> no okay. There was, there was yeah, nothing do do? to do in Delaware. Um, we went to fraternity parties on campus. <sighs> the football house was a big place to hang out. No, sure, um, sure. There were a couple of bars. Did you uh, go to Trolley Square? Isn't that like the big? Isn't that or no? Where you're yeah, New, are you in Newark? Newark, Newark. yeah, That's yeah. Right. Oh my God, you want to hear? Actually, the fu- it's not that funny. It's <laughs> I was gonna say the funniest thing. I don't know why you say that when it's not that funny, um, but it's a super dad joke. And uh, so my cousin went to University of Delaware too, many many years after me. And I went with her to her orientation and they were telling the same joke at orientation <laughs> the, for her that they were saying to at you? my orientation. <laughs> you found yourself, you found yourself every, telling it along with. I was sitting there. I'm like, oh, my God, in like 10 years, they haven't gotten a new joke. And, and here's the joke. The joke is it this. It turns out she tap dances. Yeah. So the joke is uh, and I, I don't even know who. What do they call them? The chancellor or whatever. The, sure. the head of the college. Sure. Like, the comptroller yeah, of I chancellor. I feel like chancellor is a very like lampoon, national lampoon's kind of word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like not, not an actual you see, we threw the, the We threw the, chancellor the, graves in the, uh, the commodore. In the back room. The double, double. double slapped them probation. around with Crisco. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He, he's. Yeah. So uh, he's talking about how um, people get confused with Newark, Delaware and Newark, New Jersey. And uh, that uh, there was a family that was visiting the school and they were, you know, talking about it over lunch. And they asked their waitress, where are we right now? Can you say it to us? And the waitress says, Burger King. <laughs> and I'm like, first of all, the joke doesn't work because there's no waitresses in Burger King. Right. There's no and waitresses in Burger King. Second of all, they've been telling it for Busted. 10 years. Busted. Yes. And it was. I it's New York. Such secondhand embarrassment. You were you were vicariously embarrassed for yes. your for your cousin. And my cousin's like, no, they didn't tell that joke 10 years ago. Yes. I'm like, yes, yes, they, yes, they, they did. certainly did. They just wore Jankos. Yes. Well, it's in the chancellor it. handbook. When all else fails, use this joke. It slays. It was <laughs> also <laughs> terrible because when I went to school there, it wasn't long after that couple had um gave birth to a baby and like threw it in a dumpster oh, Lord. down there that yeah. was like um, cuz they were from jersey they went to my high school they were from Wyckoff. that's yeah. right they talk about yeah. peterson amy peterson right and brian peterson brian peterson right yeah, yeah. wow oh my god that's i have a sticky <laughs> brain no that's a very sticky brain yeah, yeah that a was a very brain. that was a that that yeah. shook the walls of the community of Wyckoff. It did. Yeah, I bro, that's remember, fucked up. Well, fucked I remember up, yeah. all those stories in the Bergen record. We're going very regional again. Sorry. That's right. Um, but there was so that's so crazy. The, that, <laughs> that's, wait, yeah. did the baby and, die? Uh, yeah. 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 What do you? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I don't. And, they could. They could flourish in a dumpster. There's food and warmth, and this is um, not a mold. This shelter? is a. Anyway. They, they renamed. <laughs> from what I had heard, they had renamed the diner in front of that because there was a hotel tell with like a little diner attached to it and the dumpster I guess somewhere right. around there and like the name of that diner was something like Mother's Nest Ugh. or like something oh, something boy. like very awful and which made for terrible head- Iron- I mean, I'm sure ironically the, named I'm sure yikes. the New York Post actually made some that was, really yeah, New York yes, Post-esque yes. headlines with Oof. that um, because then I remember when I got down it, like I had seen it seen the college uh like a couple years earlier seen that diner that happened then went down to school there and it was all of a sudden called the blue hen diner <laughs> like it totally mm-hmm. changed the Does name. It, it, which is still it's a like, little motherly yeah. it is it's still but mm. but it's the yeah, yeah. and it was yeah. across the street under the radar the, the yeah. football yeah. stadium so i guess yeah. they were like the university oh, had to do something about it oh the mom God. and pop mother's nest look we're gonna it's, take you out of this okay yeah. Wow. It's Smooth it over. Terrible. I, you know what? I, I kind of want to go back and read the article that was written because I feel like that was kind of the beginning of reporting on stories like that, where like these well-to-do rich white kids who got pregnant 
and then we're throwing babies away like instead of you know yeah. te- because they were too afraid to tell their parents and it's like my god like how are you that afraid to like that this is your alternative that you can't mm, go to nuts. Planned Parenthood and get an abortion or give it up for adoption or keep it you know like th- those are way better options yeah. all three yeah. of those <laughs> that's it's it's very sad yeah Jersey well yeah I mean you have the there's so much there's so much pressure with yeah. rich kids like that it's and true I mean their, we, we, their yeah. whole yeah yeah we yeah. grew up around I'm, them I know. I'm glad that I'm glad that my parents were smart and kept me grounded as a kid and not like got all crazy you were grounded like five per- days a week perpetually, I, was, yeah. I was perpetually grounded for doing stupid shit but that's why i play bass because that's what i just sat in my room and just was like okay fine i'm grounded well i'm gonna play my bass going to play scale and now i'm gonna go to college for bass good job <laughs> mom and dad <laughs> you know you want to hear a good dad joke about basses yes okay what's the difference between a bass player and a large cheese pizza I don't know. A, a large, large cheese, cheese pizza, pizza can, can feed, feed a family, family of four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever told this on the podcast before. You just you're that smart, huh? <laughs> no, I spelling d- bees. No, I heard feel, that one before. You no, can. I feel like you can input drummer. You can input rhythm guitar. Yeah, I think I've held. I've heard it with just another <laughs> subject just, in there besides bass player. That's all. Uh, <laughs> Mike spelled the word loquacious. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I spelled interminable. You did spell interminable. Oh my god! And it took me a long time to spell it too. It was interminable. Miserably at this. It's but the funny thing is that I'm learning as I keep doing it. Is that the words that I'm convinced no one is going to get? People get, and the words I'm like, oh, these are throwaway words. People are like, um, and I'm like, wait, how do I keep getting this wrong? (laughs) Like the words that I think are really, really hard apparently are easy. Do you want to test Mike real quick? I don't want to put you on the spot, but uh, uh, no, you don't have to test. If you you have one in the, in the, in the vault, one in the chamber there. Well, there's always one in the chamber, but actually I think, I think I want to do one that we used at the spelling bee because I think it was everybody's favorite word. Tchotchke. Yeah. Tchotchke was a great word. And I felt so bad. Um, we had some debate over it. Yeah. Well, you had two Jews as the judges, so there was no reason why. <laughs> and um, two married Jews as the judges, yes. married to each other. So yes. there's no reason why you should have any. Man, that's uh, stumping judge. me. There should be five five opinions in, in that judge's chamber. T-C-H. Oh, fucking T. O-T-C-H-K-E. That's right. Wow. That's it, because uh, we had one other word. So Akila had... She was dynamite. Uh, she was, so, she's so she was fantastic. Sharp. Yeah. So funny. And she's she's a very good speller. She skipped fifth grade. And, uh, and so we gave her a word and she's like, listen, you guys, I'm really stoned right now. And I'm still taking this shit seriously than like half the people up here. So I respectfully request another word. And the judges were like, Fuck! All right, yeah, we're gonna give you another <laughs> word for the listener. They, they page to the back of the- <laughs> just, wow. and they gave her another word. And then uh, Sunita, when she got Chachki, was like, "Listen, I'm I'm Indian. Yeah. I, I don't spell Jewish words." And and so yeah, our, give me a new word. Yeah, our judges were like, "That's very anti-Semitic of you." So no, you have to spell it. Now. She got it. Yeah. <laughs> they pulled they pulled the New York card right away. It was her. great. And so he's like, uh, "Josh is like, fine, I'll give you another word." Chachkis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> add an S on the end. It's different. <laughs> oh Lord, uh, some pleasant people that you assembled that night. Yeah, uh, it was a good time. We'd love to get Sam over here sometime. He seems yes. like a good personality. We should totally have Sam on. Sam is uh, great on a podcast. He's super funny and just entertaining and and smart and nice and. Can't yeah. say enough nice things. Wow! Well, yes. So good the dude. adventures of Danny and Sam—it's got a good ring to it. Yeah. You just Ooh. sold them pretty yeah. good. Oh, wow. I'm busy. I don't know if I, <laughs> I, I'll guest. I can guest. You can come in as a guest anytime. <laughs> I feel like uh, it—if you work for the New York Post for those like New York Post covers, yeah, they're they're so predictable sometimes when something shitty happens. Mm-hmm. Like, do you think that there's a template made like? There's a guy who's like, oh, let me just do the work now. I put Heidi Klum's head onto a sea turtle body. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're just like, get this get this form ready, you know, just in case we'll, you know. They have just this- pull from a possible New York Post Reddit subpage. It's and so subreddit possible. right there. Potential. That's all. And they just go through New and be York like, Post. what happened today in the news? And you go to this subreddit and you have all these fake New York Post articles. Oh, Lord. A, somebody, they just pick and choose. Somebody said something, I think it was today, where they said a lot of the headlines of 2018 sounded like someone just spun a wheel and like pulled things <laughs> That's and fair. the the example was the thing about um 
uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy who created Twitter, Jack Dorsey. And oh. it was like Jack sent his beard hair to uh, what's her name? Azalea Banks. Azalea Banks. It's, it's uh, very create, weird like, parent. An amulet to pr- to protect him from ISIS yeah. or something. And someone was like, the, this this entire headline <laughs> sounds made up. Yeah, like, like it was generated. Yeah. yeah, like it was generated by a bot just crawling yes. and looking at words on the internet. Yeah, yeah, like those bots. Need a band they... name? <laughs> Generate. Generate. Need a headline? Generate. Indie rock they do the, album. <laughs> the scripts now, though, right? Or they, they just take like line, like huge groups of uh, uh, words and teach a bot to read them, and then they output this weird mm-hmm. script based on... I think you're thinking of a Twitter meme. No, I yeah, think, that's a Twitter meme. No, I mean, basically, I don't know. They always say well, I, the headline is always "I force the bot to listen yeah. to 500 hours of the yeah. bread of you know it, it's like a, a, it's a meme." Yeah, they didn't actually force a bot to anything. There's also, always vi- there's always images of scripts though. Meme. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel like I feel like it's had to have happened. <gasps> it had to yeah, happen to at become, least once. It's also, confusing. to become a, a meme, you have to. It has to actually. It has happen. to be true once, yeah. mm. <laughs> like the kid with the neck. Oh, no neck. Yeah. Oh no, long neck. Like, what are you talking about? There's like a long neck kid and a and a wide neck kid. There's a kid with a really wide neck. Oh wait, that okay. The I think I that's the guy. Was a that was a, that was a mug shot. Yeah, and then there okay. was a neck, but then he met up with a kid with a really long neck. Oh, the little skinny kid. Yes. Oh, such a weird. I don't video. understand. They could, I don't understand how that happened. We're not qualified to comment. We're on that. I was qualified. in the airport recently, and I overheard uh, this woman saying, "People don't even make jokes anymore. It's just memes." <laughs> I think you'd be very good at making jokes. I want to see you on Lane Moore's Tinder Live. Oh yeah, don't you think you would be good on that? <laughs> don't you think? Uh, Absolutely, that would be good on that. Yeah. You would That's be. You guys run Tinder Live. She has I've had done it a couple times. It's fun as hell. She yeah. hasn't had. I don't think she's had Sunita, but she has had Samhita on a few times. Okay. Uh, both a, yeah, she's had her on the episode that I did, and you've had some good ones, haven't you? You had some good pairings. Yeah. Like wine and cheese. Yeah, mostly wine and cheese. I have to, uh, I just bought her new book. How to Be Alone. How to Be Alone, mm-hmm. yes. But I've seen her show a few times, and it's always it's You've been time. to the live show. Been to the live show. It's funny. I, I feel funny. like you I don't set... think the book is anything like the live show. I, no. yeah, it's I, kind of the opposite. I, yeah. I, I feel like you could set the uh, the live show on fire, though, with Elle. Thank with, you. With Lane, Miss Elle. Um, paging Lane Moore. <laughs> <laughs> she may be listening. She is a former <laughs> guest. If you think that Elle should appear on Lane Moore's Tinder now, please call and let us know at 347 470 Eight one five zero. We Danny won't talk to you now, but you can leave a message, and we might respond. To yeah, you. messages of encouragement, uh, neutral, and even light disparagement are accepted. <laughs> we can we're, we're, you know what? Because we're not brittle anymore, we've got a hard outer shell. I uh, evolved this over the last billion years, and we can deal with this stuff. An exoskeleton, if you will. Oh, that's a good word for the spelling. Bee. Exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. Yep. Yeah. I think I can nail that one. <laughs> Ready? Oh, actually, <laughs> you know what? Now, since I have like a focus group, in here we are. Yeah, in yeah. A moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is what I was going to do for the next one uh, because I, Mike can tell you we had a lot of fun at the first one. We did. Um, but the lightning round was hugely popular, and I sort of think I want to do it sooner in the game. Um, to, because like we just couldn't knock people out because because we kept were spelling really good. correctly. Yeah. yeah, and so. That was that was our time issue for the most part because I just uh, don't want us to be rushing so much at the end next time. So I was thinking what we would do is uh, like a couple regular rounds of spelling, and then we do lightning to knock some people out, and then the final two people should have to do like an anagram where we give them a word, and then they have to come up with as many words out of the. They word. have to play boggle, or or just like one word boggle. Just just one word will be, anagram. and we'll have it like. Um, projected onto the thing so that they can just look at it tops spot pots yeah. stop because also you know the audience is gonna yell shit race car yeah, yeah, yeah. race they car did. a race car somebody backwards. would pause for a long time you'd hear someone in the audience go yes <laughs> like, really? it was very intimate it was very it was not only was it very intimate some people brought family members and people so. got mad like people yeah. would be like oh, and we're looking around this and... the sister's uh parents like yes. who were good for stage parents i yes, thought like i met a lot were. of stage parents in my yes. in my life and 
they the, were the family was good. It was yes, good and I've I've known them uh, a while now. That's and good. That was why I asked them because their parents are such nice, lovely people. There you go. And I knew that if I just explained to them what it was, like I, the great thing was I barely explained it. I was like, "Hey, so I'm doing this thing," and the dad was like, "Sure." Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and I mean, asking them, and they were I feel like, like yeah, Dom. Yeah, we I really feel like Dominic came through the same way. Dominic, he, he was like, "Can I wear my Rutgers gear?" Yes, you can. <laughs> Hofstra. <laughs> He's from Long Island? No, he's from Jersey, but he was he goes he to went Ho- to Hofstra. He goes to Hofstra. I, I associated it for some reason. With yeah, Rutgers. but he did have did he, but was he, he did wearing ha- Rutgers? No, stuff? he had top to bottom Hofstra, you're right. Okay. But I thought he was from I'm Jersey. Like, no, I can't remember. But he brought like twenty kids from Podcast Hofstra. is over. We ruined the whole thing. We were talking about a kid. <laughs> yeah, he brought a, I thought it was from he brought Rutgers. a posse. Yeah. Like yes. twenty five minutes ago. <laughs> we gotta cut the podcast, man. <laughs> No, it's one take. You know what That's was great sorry. about him, too, is after the spelling bee, people kept asking me because everyone else, you know, had TV credits and film credits uh, or were known. Like, what do I know Dominic yeah, from? What do I know comedians? Dominic from? And people kept saying to me, um, you know, who is who's Dominic? The Who is the kid? Actually, they were saying, who is the kid who was pretending to be a Hofstra student because he was hilarious? And I said, no, he, he actually, actually is, is a, a Hofstra, <laughs> Hofstra <laughs> student. And they were like, no, he's like on stuff. I know him from stuff. And I'm like, no, he's he's English in school. He's 102. majoring the, uh, in, you know, like the you know, If you stuff. know him, you should really effect. be a thousand feet away from that school zone. He's just, <laughs> I didn't know. I'm I didn't just know. saying. I didn't know. You could have uh, you could have somebody on your hands that knows him from you know hanging around at places that uh, adults shouldn't hang out. Oh, like that's Rutgers. creepy. Sorry, I'm just. Oh, I didn't mean to bring know, a back here. Do, a speaking lot of, of where stuff adults shouldn't hang out, I feel like I should start having the spelling be on college campuses. And this oh, would be absolutely. a good idea. And like yeah. you may be flirting with. No, I, that's I shouldn't say that. I won't flirt with any college boys. I'm too old for that. You can flirt with the idea of flirting with college <laughs> boys, and that's just fine. I can joke about it. Half your age plus seven. What about graduate students? Yeah, that's okay. See? Graduate students are okay. In the wheelhouse. Yeah. God, mm-hmm. They have to have a diploma. <laughs> uh, L, you must Associates have some, you must have some plugs you, that you want to give us. Some. Well, I, I'm... Other yeah, than the February yeah. 15th show at the, the UCB 15th, Hell's Kitchen. Yes, that's, that's right. That's a plug. Um, you should read tomorrow. Um, there's a movie that's going to be out on Netflix called Bird Box. I am not in it. <laughs> You're not in it. <laughs> I'm plugging it because I wrote a piece for InStyle.com about it. So okay. you should watch ah, cool. it and then read it. And then it. read my piece in yes. with the bird box in mind. Okay. Exactly. Because nice. uh, it's it's a very good piece. Thank you very much. Um, but it's also a really good movie um, written by the same guy who wrote Arrival with Amy Adams, which I, I really love loved. I loved that movie. Yeah. Bird Surprisingly. Box is with um, well, uh, Sandra Bullock and John Malkovich being very John Malkovichy, and Trevante Rhodes. And it's uh, Danielle McDonald. Arnold, who's in that movie Dumplin on Netflix? If you watch that, currently she's, on, she's, which is Netflix. really incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah, you she, watched it. Did you I see did Patty Cake? It. She's great in Patty Cakes too. I didn't see that. Isn't that um, about Jersey? It's about Jersey. It made and me think I of Chunky Pam. She was a Jersey girl because I was like, oh, finally someone who doesn't overdo how it sounds like from Jersey. She's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> yes. They can nail our accents so well. She, so she's. I think she's incredible. They're good. Um, and what about Twitter and all the? Oh uh, yes, follow me on Twitter at lsep e l l e s e p. She's got, but don't ever slight her or wrong her because <laughs> revenge will be visited when you least expect it and when you're vulnerable. Look, we're really sorry that it rained. We had nothing to do with it. We had no control over the yeah. rain. Listen, I'm okay. I'm part Sicilian. I'm not unreasonable. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm part Sicilian too, and I'm completely unreasonable. I'm Neapolitan, and I want both of you to just get along. I'm partly partly Neapolitan. Let's see, I knew we got along. Isn't it, for or a isn't it Napolitan? Napolitan. Yeah. I just wanted to. I didn't know who was going to understand it in there. Definitely that, not you. Oh, God, I love not, Neapolitan no. ice cream. I, was just I don't say, know. I could really a, go for some Neapolitan oh, ice cream. Okay. Definitely, hundred percent. For the listener, drool is appearing on our <laughs> uh, mandibles right now. We're, we're I got a to... spot in Bensonhurst. We're all going right now. <laughs> Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream. Let's right. do it. Go. All right. Get the cabs. Thank yeah. you very much, Daniel. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks, Al. Yeah, this is wonderful. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Maruna. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening.